Hello my friends, Gabriel here, welcome to another video. Finally, I can show you how uh, Android 5.0.2 Lollipop from the Sony Xperia Z Ultra looks like. I've just uh, updated my device, I have the international uh, Sony Xperia Z Ultra unlocked and uh, unfortunately I didn't get the update to Lollipop the usual way an uh, OTA update instead I had to download the, the file from Xperia firm and uh, using flash tool I flashed uh, my device um, I was uh, tired on uh, waiting for Sony to make available the update uh, where I live in uh, Europe so as you can see my model is uh, C6833 the 4G international model and running Android 5.0.2 you can see here the build number so let's uh, start with a couple of things that uh, are new besides uh, Android 5 Pretty much the interface, if you are familiar with uh, Android 5 uh, Lollipop, uh, you already know that the interface is a lot more colorful. And uh, from what I've noticed, uh, the device uh, pretty much uh, feels uh, snappy, even when uh, loading apps. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, manage to do all my setup uh, to download all the apps that I had to, to download that I use. So, uh, pretty much I'm going to present you with what uh, the device uh, is pre-installed in. Let's go back to settings. As you can see, we have the carousel mode in uh, the recent apps. So let's go back to settings to see what the novelties are. Some things that I noticed the different layout also in uh, display settings uh, have a couple of things right now uh, as you can see we have adaptive uh, brightness also some uh, other things in uh, sound and notification if we go to accessory settings to headphones you can see that now uh, we have support for uh, high definition uh, or hi-fi uh, audio unfortunately on this list I don't see the MDR NC31 those are the active noise cancelling uh, headphones that come uh, with uh, the Sony Xperia Z2 or Z3 I actually own those uh, headphones but uh, I don't see them uh, anywhere here so um, I haven't tested them out uh, with uh, the Z Ultra running on uh, Android 5. I'm going to test them out and see how, uh, how it works. So this is another novelty which uh, previously on uh, KitKat 4.4 wasn't. If we go to audio settings to sound effects we see some uh, different changes in here. As you can see xloud uh, is nowhere to be seen we still have clear audio plus but uh, there's a lot of users uh, who updated the z1s or uh, z1c noticed uh, xloud is gone and uh, fortunately um, i can say that uh, i have noticed any any decrease in the volume coming from the from the loudspeaker at least storage is pretty much the same also in power management now we have uh, ultra stamina mode and in uh, stamina mode we have extended standby and uh, some other uh, things that uh, we've already seen on the Sony Xperia Z2 or Z3 
So far I haven't uh, gotten a chance to, to test the battery life after this update. From what I'm seeing it's uh, pretty much uh, on par with uh, what I got on uh, KitKat 4.4.4 but uh, I have to test it uh, more uh, in the coming days and uh, then I could give you a proper feedback about uh, battery life. But as I said so far I have noticed anything uh, um, dramatic, uh, I don't know. A lot of uh, Z1 uh, users were complaining about the battery drain after the update. Uh, remember, uh, battery drain after a uh, big update such as this one is something common. You just have to wait uh, for a couple of days or uh, if you want a couple of uh, cycles of uh, charging and discharging the battery until uh, everything uh, goes back to normal. We now have support for multi-users. As you can see, also the uh, notification tray has um, has been changed. You can uh, edit all the shortcuts. We can uh, switch accounts. We can add other accounts, or we can go straight to to settings. As I said, um, so far everything's uh, great. I haven't uh, had any problems. Just remember to perform a factory reset or a hard reset uh, after you install uh, the update in order to, to have uh, the, best, um, the best performance from the device. A lot of people uh, simply update their devices without uh, performing this uh, factory reset and uh, thus uh, they encounter a lot of issues uh, i don't know uh, bugs problems and uh, whatnot one thing that i noticed also in uh, accessibility is that uh, now we have a uh, color inversion but uh, as it says it's experimental may affect performance and also we have a color correction which uh, apparently this one is experimental also I haven't tried them probably I will in the coming days uh, but uh, so far um, I'm just trying to, to enjoy uh, let me say the new life that uh, my Sony Z Ultra has right now as I said, uh, everything uh, is, uh, is different, looks uh, and feels fresh. And uh, as I said, the uh, apps uh, load a lot uh, faster. One thing that I noticed in YouTube, and I'm gonna show it to you, it's uh, the fact that uh, when uh, choo choosing the video quality of a video that you are uh, playing on your device uh, there is no longer uh, a 1080p option the maximum one it's uh, 720p the same thing i've noticed on the samsung galaxy s5 when i updated to android 5 i don't know why uh, this is uh, like this uh, maybe someone uh, can can um, tell me but uh, let's see welcome everyone this is app tech 26 bringing in another review yeah, it works um, I also know. just want to let I played uh, previously to this video I played a couple of videos and uh, all of them were showing uh, um, only available 720p. On the S5 this uh, pretty much happened to me with all the videos that I played on uh, on YouTube. Uh, I don't know, uh, it's pretty strange if you ask me. Okay, this pretty much does it for this video, 
just um, if you want uh, first impressions with uh, with Android 5 Lollipop on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. Uh, this is a um, screen recording. So uh, I'm also testing this capability to see how it runs. It worked uh, perfectly on the Sony Xperia Z2. So uh, I was wondering on the Z Ultra how it is. I'm gonna come back in the next couple of days with uh, a proper video uh, available on my channel Gavo HD uh, detailing uh, a lot more uh, how the Sony Xperia Z Ultra behaves after this, uh, this uh, huge update. I'm gonna tell about uh, the good things, the bad things that uh, hopefully I will not uh, encounter and uh, until then Make sure you subscribe to my channel, also hit the like button, share this video and uh, you can always follow me on my official Facebook page, Google+, uh, Twitter or uh, even Instagram. Ok my friends, this pretty much does it, thank you for watching, Gabriel sign out, peace.